it's that girl in the morning, and I know a lot of people are cleaning up from the mess of that storm that we had this week, which has left a frozen glaze everywhere, especially on your car, just like the Cape Country 104 van here. Now, I actually lived in Wisconsin for a while, and the only thing that I remember was how to get into a frozen car. Thank you very much for my college education. I'm sure my mother's proud. But um, there is a very easy way to get into a frozen car that doesn't involve grabbing the handle and pulling as hard as you can, because what's going to happen is you're going to end up with the door handle in your hand. We all know somebody that's done that. Yes, we do. So this is an easy way to get into a frozen car. And instead of pulling on the door, what you're going to do is you're actually going to use your body weight and gently push into it. You might have heard that crack. That was not my back. That was the ice in the door. And what this does is it breaks the ice seal and makes it so that ha, 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 you can get into your frozen car and warm it up so that you can drive safely. Now, wind chills are going to be below zero this weekend. Please stay inside if you can. And for all the details, you can check the Rogers and Gray Storm Center on CapeCod.com. Going back inside where the heat's on.